Hello, good evening, and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night. Thank you, family, for joining us in this, our fifth season. Tonight, we are bringing you Season 5, Episode Blank, Isolated. Let's begin by meeting our vampires. Hello, I'm Whitney Moore, and I am playing Jeanette. I'm Xander Genre, playing X the Malkavian. And our special guests, Mika Burton and Faye Mata, will be joining us at dramatically appropriate moments. Let's talk about Los Angeles for a moment. Los Angeles is the kind of place where it seems like everybody is from someplace else. And nobody ever really drops an anchor. It's a, a transient place. People drawn by the dream or running from the nightmare. 18 million people and everybody seems to be ready to make a break for it at any moment. Figuratively, literally, metaphorically, any way you want to look at it, LA keeps a bag packed, just in case. With this firmly in mind, let's tell a vampire story. tonight, Santa Monica. It's a coastal community west of downtown Los Angeles, separated from LA proper by the Santa Monica Mountains, appropriately enough. And though it's technically an independent city within LA County, Santa Monica is so interwoven into the fabric of LA's life and imagination that it might as well be part of the city proper. It's landmark Santa Monica Pier and Ferris Wheel, the soft sandy beaches and miles of bike paths, the sunlight bathed bars and hotels of o Ocean Avenue add up to a, well, what many would consider to be a quintessentially Californian experience. But for several decades, this has been the undisputed territory of Baron Therese Vorman of Clan Mulcavian, with the occasional so-called help and support of her sister, Jeanette. Therese has managed to carve out a thriving and profitable domain. The heart of this domain has always been the asylum, uh, the only rival to the infamous Succubus Club of Chicago for being the premier nightclub of the undead. With franchises appearing across America, Asia, and Europe, club image is synonymous with cool and unusual nightlife. The Vorman sisters run the asylum, sometimes amicably, sometimes not. But lately, one sister has been conspicuously absent. So let's join the hosts of the asylum in their natural habitat. It's a good one tonight. <laughs> I still can't believe that this is happening. Oh I mean, my god, bestie. I, <laughs> I can't believe 
that this is happening. <gasps> this was such a good idea. We are already kicking the shit out of my sister's plan. Are you kidding me? If we could not maybe bring her up a lot, that would be... Listen, I'm here just as much to forget and party as you. I just want to say we are doing a fucking sick job and also I stole her skirt. So that's it. That's all throwing it all away. Right, all right. I mean, <laughs> the light up dance floor is just going wild. I think people are going to really love it. You know what? I'm happy that we have the light up dance floor. I just wish we could also have light up like walls, bars, ceilings. Like why not? The stripper pole, why isn't the stripper pole light up? Like It's kind of easy to get lost in the floor. Here's the thing, that's what we want. We want people to get in and never leave. Okay. I'm so glad tonight's drag night. I know, ah! this is my favorite night. I mean, every night has been my favorite, but. Yeah. Okay, so I think everything is all right with the uh, blood donation, as well yes. as the STD testing, and we've got the queens on standby. And I don't know if you remember, but we're holding court tonight. Oh, I remember. Do I remember? I don't remember, sorry. I, Who were you holding her with? Well, I think that some people have been visiting the Zoltar machine <gasps> and oh my passing God. on some messages. Oh my God, that is such a genius idea, Bestie. Thank okay, you, Bestie. okay, okay. I'm really excited for this blood donation because I feel like obviously we are important in Santa Monica. Yes. We're important to the world. We yes. have a big dream, we've got visions and part of that is changing the world, okay? We know it, we know it's like, Super fucked up that gay people can donate blood. And Absolutely. So they want to donate here. It's just as worthy of the cause. It's that we eat it. And we're doing something that that woman never would. No, she would never. She would never. She doesn't have the she doesn't have the smart stuff. She that doesn't we do. have it. She doesn't nope. have it. Nope. She doesn't have. She doesn't care about the community. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got. We care about the community. I've always cared about the community. We're fucking geniuses, Bestie. Absolutely. <sighs> I'm having a great time already. Nothing could go wrong. <laughs> Are you ready for your first supplicant? Yes. All right. Bring them in. <clears throat> okay, wait, 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 Best. Yeah, yeah. I just want to give you a little bit of advice really quick. Oh, okay. thank you, thank okay. you. Holding court, just remember that you're fucking more important than anyone else here, okay? Okay. And so, job number one is like make them do something for you. Like whatever it is, it could be like truly anything, just sure. to like let them know what their place is. Gotcha. You know. Well, thank you so much for doing this. Oh my baby. god, bestie. You're my bestie. I know, I know. I didn't think I could be left in charge, but you know how to do everything. Look at what we're doing. I know. I mean, I know. we're changing Los Angeles. You're oh. changing Los <gasps> Angeles for me. I love you. I did it. Okay. Bring them in. Right away. You plan to do this in your office, on the dance floor, on the balcony mm. overlooking the dance floor? Where would you like to hold court? Okay, so we do have a club back room for the VIPs. Mm -hmm. It has an ice luge for the blood. The vitae. And uh, <laughs> I'm like really into chilled blood all of a sudden. I don't know, is that crazy? I don't know, I like it. Um, and there's like a slurpy machine too for the... Sounds like an ideal place to uh, hear your subjects. Yeah. Very well. The ice room shall be. So, your first supplicants that are shown into the room uh, are two vampires that you vaguely recognize from their time on your dance floor here. One is tall, lanky, with a short, sharp shock of dark hair, sticks out in all directions. The other, shortish, stocky, might have been an athlete in high school. Hard to say. Much longer hair, tied back in a in a ponytail. The tallest one speaks first. I, I'm Cam. Cam. Ah, uh, 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 I'm Ken. Cam. Cam and Ken. Yeah. Uh, Can we just save the like learning names and just call you both Cam? Cam. Um, are, you, are you are you like um, the Baron now? <laughs> We're co-barons. Co assistant Excuse Baron. Me. No, 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 no. Associate no, no. Baron. Yeah. Ask, Ask Barons. Barons. Ask. Yeah. We're Ask Barons. Ask Barons. We co-regulate, co-communicate, co-perform. You know, we everything. run the show together. It's a collaboration. Now you, you come before us. The yeah. Ass Barons of Santa Monica. Okay. Present to me something important to you. Show me your soul. You're doing really I got good. like I got like five bucks. What? What do you, what do you want? 
We got a problem here. Show me something that represents you, your belt, a lock of hair. You want my hair? What do you choose, uh, Carm? Carm. Carm. <laughs> okay, look. Uh, I got. Um, I got this watch. It's important to me. Someone special gave it to me. One. I give you this, and touch. you're gonna settle my, settle this problem. You don't need to give it to me. I just need a little touchy poo. Yeah, he just wants to fondle your shit. Great. Okay. Fine. Look, fondle and whatever. Just. And it's he holds right. out his wrist. It's a, it's an antique watch. You I'm would going think 1950s, to perhaps. Do spirits touch on it? Spirits touch. Which is a rouse check. It does cost you one rouse check, and then uh, an intelligence and aspects roll, please. So I failed the rouse check. So you get hungrier, and her voice whispers in your mind, "I am so very disappointed in you." X. This is unacceptable. You have made a travesty of my club, you have let my sister run amok, and you still haven't managed to do the very thing you set out to do. Okay. All right, what are you even doing here, all right? This is my night, this is my club, you're gone, you left. For now. Um, okay, so are you done with the watch thingy, or? What do you need? Uh, he's poaching on my turf. You're poaching on my turf. Come on. It belongs to me. I've always had that block. Three successes. Three successes. So, the spirit's touch. This power allows you to sense the emotional residue uh, left by those who have handled the object in the past. You get uh, an immediate image of a young woman's face. She has short, dark hair. She looks a little bit like the vampire standing in front of you. Similar facial features, similar eyes, but her expression is fundamentally sad and unhappy. You get an emotional impression of distance and longing, parting, a farewell, goodbye, forever goodbye. Hey, get that back, right? Have it. Thanks. She doesn't forgive you. Why would you say that? Present your case. <laughs> oh, wow, you know. Oh my God, that was so bad. <laughs> Look, that's my corner. It's been my corner for a long time. My guys run it, we sell there. It's mine. We took it fair and square. Uh, you know, you didn't take shit. Baron Tari How about I settle this like She gave right us now. she gave the corner to me. Oh it's, oh it's mine. Therese gave it to you? Yeah. Okay, well I'm the big bitch in charge right now, so I've got my big bitch panties on and an ice luge. I don't know if you saw it, but What's that um for, anyway? whatever Therese did, I am redoing it right now. You and, can't do that. Um, I actually can because I'm co-baron and yeah, yes, she, you do have she, an issue. She can totally do that. You say that name one more time in my presence and I will make sure it's the last. Yeah, you gotta go. Bad vibes. Okay. That is not your corner anymore. This blows. Have a nice day. Get a blood slurpee on the way out. They're, They're delicious. Good. Yeah, awesome. Thanks. Nice work. Thank you. Thank you. Very, hey, thanks very much. Uh, and about what you said, I mean, you, you mean that? She doesn't? I mean that with every fiber of my being. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. You don't give a shit. I'm gone, okay. He does take a blood slurpee on the way out, and they both leave in a hurry. Meanwhile, outside Club Asylum, two friends arrive. How are you getting there? Are you in your new ride? We're in my Tesla. Mm. It's, it's wrapped. It's it's like a beautiful, it, I got a normal Tesla S, but that was super boring. So I got it wrapped matte black and it has like a glitter rim around the headlights. Just beautiful like, machine. That can I be driving attention. it this time though? Yes, absolutely. And if, if you get a little confused, because I know sometimes, you know, the, the streets are a little wobbly here. You can put it on auto drive. See, look right there. You can put it on auto drive and then it'll drive itself. 
Okay. Is that cool? Okay, get it. I want to get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, right. Also, also, if you want it to be put in Christmas mode, you press that button, and then it's it keeps playing Jingle Bells, and it's like we're what? in a play. And then on the navigation, we're Santa Claus. We're Santa Claus. We're Santa Claus. I'm gonna try! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Press it, press it, press it, press it. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's okay. let it drive. Okay, okay. Let's we'll okay. let it drive, yeah. I love this thing. This is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did that with my mouth. It doesn't like to do that. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Tesla through the streets of Santa Monica, down Oceanside Avenue. That turns heads. Wait, can you do that thing where People it makes it fart attention. on the outside? Yes. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me just, let me just, okay, no. Hog the horn? Hug the horn. See, see everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I know. I know. I love this car. Why would you put this in a car? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Why not? I just so true. <laughs> oh God, I love having money. Oh. Yeah, you're like so rich. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you control a nice, uh, nice club in North Hollywood, you just kind of have too much money at a certain point. Yeah. So now. Hey, yeah, I can't relate. Hey, <laughs> but when it's the anniversary of when you turned, I'll buy you a Tesla. Are you serious? I'll buy you a Tesla. Really? What color do you want it? Blue. Done. Wait, they don't come in blue. I'll make it blue. White. White? But make it blue. <laughs> got it, you got it, you got it. You got it. Yes! <laughs> Oh, that means so much to me. Well, you've taken me in, you've really looked after me, so like the least I can do is buy you a Tesla, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, thanks. I just, I was just thinking, I don't think my sisters would be okay with that. Well, they don't have to know. But it's it's really loud, you know? You like, can park at my place. You can just come drive it when you want. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, like we usually do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, if, if I have to pay them off with cars too, I w not Teslas. The Tesla, that's our thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Hester and Violet. Well, Violet might want one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But listen, you guys, know it's our thing. You guys are my. You're, you're my family now. You're. I know I'm not one of the sisters, but it means a lot to me that you know you're helping me through all of this. It's just been a really weird eight months. So I, yeah. Honestly, you're helping me a lot too because. It's really lonely. How are you feeling? Well, that, you know, I. This is a really complicated question. I'm trying to say that I'm okay. I'm not okay because my favorite thing in the world was, you know, waking up, having yoga on the beach, being in Santa Monica is a little rough on my emotions right now. But I saw this lady on TikTok and she was selling this sunrise lamp. Right? It's like a lamp that oh my mimics gosh, the I totally sunrise. Saw that. Yeah. I so I bought one, right? And it's yeah. kind of like, it reminds me of the sunrise. It's not the same, but if I close my eyes and just kind of pretend so that it's happening. That's so big brain. Right? You have a humongous brain. No, yeah. no wonder you're rich. See, you gotta think outside the box. So yeah. if you put the sunlight lamp in a few places in your house, it kind of feels like the sun is rising. And then sometimes if I get really desperate, I'll put sand in my living room and I'll do yoga on the sand in my living room. And then it's like I'm on the beach, you know? And then if that doesn't work, I just cry a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. yeah I, I was. I wasn't sure to ask you about it because I didn't. I wasn't sure if it was a touchy subject. A little bit. It's a little bit. But I. It's for a good cause. You know. I. I gotta back my thin blood brother in. Even though I'm not technically a thin blood anymore. Still getting used to that. It's weird. But I. It's, it's all right. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. It. I'll give up sun. For being a little bit cooler. You know. And you could still wake up and go to the beach every day, just at a different just, time. It's just, it's I'll go with you. Day. Will you? Yeah, in your yeah. Tesla. Yeah, you, you just want more rides with the Tesla. Well, when I get my own too, you know. <laughs> we can carpool behind each other. We could. I think that's a great idea. We can park at the most, oh, I know the best place to park. Yeah? Okay, is yeah. it like a really cool lookout? No, it's just cheaper. <laughs> See, now that's a big brain. You're gonna be rich in no time. That's a big brain too. Thanks. I had an Asian family. <laughs> there it is. See, we gotta we gotta team up, and then we'll be the richest vampires. Yes, ever. Actually, 
We should become influencers. I've been looking into that. Really? Yeah. I mean, you keep sending me these TikToks, and yeah, I mean, yeah. I send you them too. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. just, I don't know. It kind of makes you want to do it too, right? Yeah. I. OnlyFans is the new hustle. I don't know if I'm cute enough to be on OnlyFans, but it is a great side. You're hustle. definitely cute enough. You think? Yeah, you're cuter than cute, cute, cute enough. Means a lot. But I've been you. thinking about it too. Look. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. Does this work? This works. Yeah. This works. <laughs> this, you know what? Okay. After we go out tonight, we're gonna go home. We're gonna set up your OnlyFans. We're gonna get you started. You're gonna be buying your own Teslas in no time. <gasps> I know it. I see it. And you can practice magic. Do you, well, people, is that, can we do that? Yeah. Yeah? Well, like on TikTok? No. Oh, I got no. so scared. I was like, can we do that? Well, no. No. Well, we could. Make special effects. Mm. My sisters won't allow it. But we could figure something else. What if we made a vampire version of social media, but only for somehow. only for vampires, like yeah. like Tinder, but for vampires? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that. Oh my god! This I've been genius. looking into the tech. I think I could totally do this. Wait, this is the best idea you've ever had. You okay. own a club. I, I want to be rich too. Yeah. You know? Okay. And then and then we can have special promotional nights at my club. Ah, that's brilliant. Oh my. Okay. Wait. Did you see that one promo? For, for that one club? Which one? The fun. The one in Santa Monica? Yeah, that one. Okay, we're going. You we're going go? tonight. We're going to, because, okay, there's a girl there. She owns the club. She's the new Baron, I've heard. I saw! But her titties are on OnlyFans. Oh my God. And they're beautiful. You know, remember that picture I sent you like two weeks ago? Yes. Yeah, How could I her. forget? That's her. So if we go, maybe she'll want to get in with us on the ground floor of this app. Investors. 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 And what if we had a collaboration with her OnlyFans? You're so big brain! This is You're the this most brilliant why. person I've ever met in my own life. Honestly. Wait, I'm, don't tell my sisters that though. I won't, I won't, I won't. But okay. I think I think the fates aligned. The reason I became a Tremere is so that we could become sisters and create Tinder for vampires. Yes. And we could practice magic on the also, side. Also also magic on the side, but yeah. mostly the Tinder thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When you arrive at Club Xylem, the valets are suitably impressed by your ride. Uh, I'll slip them a 50. I'll say, keep it up front, yeah? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's a Tesla. It is, it's a Tesla. It's a Tesla. No lines, no waiting for you. Through that velvet rope, like a hot knife through butter. When they enter the asylum, what do they see tonight? What's happening? Drag queens. <laughs> it's drag. an incredible display of the drag arts, both for like high pageantry and a monster chic. Yeah. Uh, it's the full spectrum. But there's also a low key hospital vibe. Like everyone needs to know that there is a place to donate blood and it's not to the hospitals, it's to us, but like, we'll hmm. take it. We don't discriminate, you know? So like, Loki hospital, but also slutty and also monsters. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's an interesting vibe. You're pretty certain that LA Weekly, LA Weekly will not know how to write about this. They never yeah. do. They'll try. <laughs> so that's what you see when you enter. The music, the dance floor, the drag show, the people. You don't see anyone you, you recognize among the throng, but with all the lights and the the shifting colors, it's you know hard to make out individual faces easily. <gasps> I love this vibe! Right? But I feel underdressed. I do too, but at the same time, it seems right, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you're just like too cool to fit the vibe, but like people know that you knew about the vibe, but you just didn't adhere to it because you're cool. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about it that way. I kind of want to, I want to, I want to cost you too. Right? Big brain. Big brain, big, big, brain, big, big brain, big brain, big brain. Are you planning a grand entrance? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, I think this would be about the time. We've seen as many people as we can. Uh, I'm not working tonight. No, right? Fuck. Here we go. And yeah, we'll cue the music uh, just to start. Uh, we'll quiet everything down and the dance floor that was lit up in bright, bright colors goes dark. And then from the ceiling. <laughs> We descend. In a magnificent display of 
Vampiric voguing authority. With no music. Absolutely silent. The dance floor freezes and watches the spectacle as you descend from the stars to the mortal realm. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, welcome to the asylum! <laughs> of course, make sure to visit the blood drive and take photos, share, tell everyone about this. And most importantly, open up your fucking wallets! We want to see these drag queens get paid, mm -hmm. okay? And I would like to just put a little bit of a motivator on them. i just like to cast a net of motivation. Mmm, so that look that 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 cool. of motivation. Mm -hmm. mm, you might say you might reach out with personal influence, mm -hmm. not necessarily human influence, to encourage that free spending vibe that you wanted. I'd say so, yeah. Huge roar of approval from the crowded dance floor. Shouts, cries of, Jeanette, Jeanette. Wow, I love being co-baron, it's so much fun. I, sometimes I don't feel like Co-Baron. Oh uh, X, X, oh cool, they, they said my name too. Ah, a, few, a few people uh, near you take up the chair. X! X! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah! Yes. X! Oh. Is he, he, is is he like the co-owner? I don't know, I, I don't know, maybe. Let the party commence! Back to the music. Woo! Oh, I've seen that. him in pictures before with Vigina. He's pretty cool, right? Yeah, 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 I think so. Yeah. Yeah. He seems cool. I don't know much about him. Me neither. But they always say, if you want to get to the head cheese, you got to get in with the rind. Oh. They bring. Are there are there rinds in cheese? Breeze. And Breeze a really good cheese. There's a, there's a oh, rind on Brie, yeah. That's true. Yeah, you get in with true. the rind, you know, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get in with the Let's rind. Let's get in with the rind. <laughs> you are, of course, thronged by adoring fans, people who want things. They want autographs, they want your blessing, mm -hmm. such as it is. They want to touch you, they want to be near you. Mm -hmm. Some of them are dressed in such a way as to suggest that they might even want to be you. Mm -hmm. Friends letters, mm -hmm. you know, it feels good. I feel like mm -hmm. this is where we belong, you know, like this is, we are it's supposed to be at the head of the table. Like, we're not supposed to be just like the, any of these regular jerks. Like, we're supposed to be the ones controlling the vibes. Because yeah. we're very special, Bestie. We got, we can control the vibes. Like, yeah. literally. Yeah. You know that, right? It's we're powerful. That, hey, has anyone ever told you that? You are powerful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us too. How do we get there? Okay, okay I have a plan. Crowd. I have a plan. And I want to take like a couple hundred bills out of my pocket and throw them to the drag queens on stage, but make sure that they're looking in this direction to see that I'm I'm showering their queens. Ah, money. so that you want their attention. <laughs> yes, I want their attention. Not easy to miss. You definitely see the gesture of bills flying through the air, landing on the stage. Drag queens acknowledging them with kisses, waves, darling, gestures of gratitude. You're doing so great, yes, queen. Thank you. Hey, you. We hey. love you. Somebody, somebody, get them. Hey, you. Hi. 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 You. Hi. 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 You are uh, you are escorted by club staff through the admiring throng and straight to the hosts. I have not seen you in my club before, and I know all the pretty girls. So what the fuck? <laughs> She has a Tesla. Hi! Oh. <laughs> that was gonna be the second thing I said. Oh. Well, hi, I'm Delilah. First of all, the queen of OnlyFans calling me pretty. Oh, listen, girl, <laughs> you don't need to be pretty to have an OnlyFans, you just need to be famous. Oh. You're doing it all so well. And you with your deep V. I have never seen a V so deep in my life. Do you guys know my bestie? This is X Cobaron of Santa Monica. Thank you. Cobaron, hi. Oh, and I know my bestie behind. My V is so deep, it's an 11. It's true, and you don't want to know what that means. I don't. I love that you Wait, drive Wait, I don't get it. If it doesn't connect, it's just. 
Oh, it's an 11. <gasps> all the way. Oh! All the way around. I like That's it. That's amazing. I like I'm it. Kyoko. Hi, Kyoko. I like your hair. What car do you drive? Thanks. Uh, I don't, well, shh, shh, just Tesla. I, Tesla. Tesla too. Yeah. That's so cool because like we don't drive. Wait, wait, wait. I I think I've heard your name before. Are you weird? Yes. I knew it. Maybe you've heard of me uh, on social media. Uh, uh, I'm, I, I'm. I was in that one video from the other club before. Uh, Special K. Yeah. Oh, you did. You lit a friend. Of, you lit someone I know on fire. Oh. Oh, yeah, she, I, I do She's do that. known to do that sometimes. Uh, cool. You know? Wait, cool or not cool? cool. Not cool, it's a, it's not, but oh, not cool. maybe now it's complicated. How do we feel about the friend? Well, so how have you been? Wait, oh. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Do you not, do you not like that guy? It's complicated. I, um, do you like that guy? I'm just, I'm in a different life. Your path. answer! It's so important to me. Okay, new rule. If it's complicated, it's bad. We only deal in yeah. simplicity. It's either a hell yes or a hell no. So if it's complicated, in the trash. I'm glad this person's on fire. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I like you so much. We love like these like vibes. So we love yeah, these, these vibes. Yeah, good vibes. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how to drive. Do you know how to drive? I do know how to drive. You I'm an expert you? driver. Really? I mean, I've driven, but I don't like. Expert, no. you know? I like you. But here's the thing about Teslas, you press a button and they drive themselves. It's like having a chauffeur. I love when people do things for me. Right? It's my greatest But it's a joy. digital. Hmm? It's digital, it's a car it's that does tech. things for you. Amazing. I love technology, wow. So um, what's Have a you? couple girl bosses like you doing at our club? Well, hear me out here. Hate elevator pitching, but I feel like you're the kind of girl boss that'll hear it, right? I hate to see a girl, girl boss, boss winning. Right? Well, I'm they, also a boss. And you are you are the V boss. You are the V 11 boss. You're the 11 boss, right? So I follow. talking to a bunch of bosses here, right? So we got we I got concur. A, a cool underground vibe here. You know, we got our barons. We got our we got our cities. But you know what we don't have? Our own social media networking system, right? Yeah. There is Tinder. But you know what happens on Tinder? You go out during the day, you go get some lunch. We can't do that. You light on fire. You light on fire. So the Tinder. What if, if it was Tinder for vampires? For night. Just for night. Tinder by night, if you will. Ooh. Now. Are you here to pitch us? No, 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 no. We're not here to necessarily We're in party pitch mode. you in Yeah, and I can't use a computer well. Well, if we're in party mode, what if I Buy everybody here a round of shots yeah. and get the party started. Yeah. That would be nice that right. for them. I'm gonna take also, out my platinum card. I just, I just card love your work. Shots. You're gonna take your platinum card out and uh, you're gonna pay the bar. Yes. I'm right. Pay the bar. And it's shots for the bar. Yes. So headache for the wait staff. Yes. Wonderful for the patrons. Yes. So that gets started. It's gonna take a while <laughs> because there's only the so many staff. shots you can pour in, you know, a minute at a time, right? But uh, that gets general approval from the crowd as the uh, waitstaff makes its way around with uh, free liquor for everybody. When everyone's distracted, X will pull you aside. Have you seen our back room? Back room? No. How do you feel about chilled beverages? Like a frosé, but not a frosé. We're on the same page. I've had that before. Come on, get back here. All right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> They're so cool. Yeah. Also, Gosh. I love that they're spending a lot of money here. It, it helps because we, we need it. Do we? I mean, kind of. All right. <laughs> to the back room. Mm -hmm. What do they see? <sighs> it's fully decked out. This is the, the VIP area. So it does have the ice luge of Vitae. Yeah, with like a really, really hot person um, sitting at the top, like on a ladder. And they're just like cutting their leg. Or their, Ooh, and wow. their like butt, and it's dripping down the ice luge. But they're in ecstasy. Oh yeah, they love it's it. It's the best they love thing. It. Of course they love it. Mm -hmm. And so. there's also a slushy machine, and there's also like, it's like head to toe velvet. Never have the vibes been so immaculate. Thank you. This is perfect. The velvet was actually my bestie X's idea. Mm -hmm. I was thinking satin, but I think you were right. It's Sometimes like, you just need that touch. Yeah. And velvet does it. And yeah. your, like hat your hat matches. 
Thank you. you. Sometimes I need to touch myself. Same oh my thing. gosh, the velvet touch. That should be your like, name. That should be like your oh. drag name or like something. Speaking we'll of which, I, I forgot something. Uh, I, before you enter, oh. even though you're already in, yeah. present to me something of importance <gasps> to you. Oh. Yeah, you have to do that. Oh, um, uh, can I get it back after? Oh yeah, yeah, I just gonna oh. touch it. Not in a weird way, just, it'll be fine. It can be weird if you want. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is, I like this ring a lot. It, you know, it's special. Like He's gonna make love to it. Just kidding. Okay. He's With just my touch finger. It. Yeah. Oh. Hands. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to make a rouse check. You need to make a rouse check if you intend to use this power. I'm like, do I have to sanitize Success. this? Success. So, you keep the beast in check and you Wait, don't get hungry. Wait, is this or do I have to do it too? Uh, for right now, it's just the one. Okay. Intelligence and aspect. I think he's doing a thing. I love. Are we just like standing by while you're just? <laughs> yeah. Four successes. So what do you do with the ring? Are you holding it? Or are you? Yeah. So I grasp the mouth? ring in my hand, and I'm sort of turning it around in my fingers. And as X does, you can see slowly his lids blink once, twice, and then they start to flicker. As Four successes. Four successes. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. This it's cool though. <laughs> That's a challenging difficulty. You are taken away from this place in an instant. You are no longer here. Your point of view is looking down at a vampire. Her eyes wide with fear. Her fangs bared in desperation. Her long blonde hair askew, her face showing the signs of a desperate struggle. No, no, don't do this. Don't, please. And then your fangs find her neck and you drink as she struggles. And you drink and drink and drink until the black soul, the essence, the core of the vampire's being fills you. You take the vampire's essence into yourself and you have never, not on your most gluttonous nights, felt so full and fulfilled. It is Perfect. Just before you open your eyes, the vampire whose essence you have stolen, the vampire whom you have diablerized, begins to wither and fade into ash. You did it. You, you did it. What'd you do? What, what's in your ring? I don't know, it's just a ring. This what did you do? Wait, 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 wait. Give her an opportunity to say it because if someone did something, they know that they did that thing. So you say, say what you did. I... Good vibes. Good, good vibes? Good vibes. Does it feel like good vibes? Is it good vibes? Know. You ate them oh. and you took their power and you made it their own. You made it your own. Oh, that. How? Take it. Okay. I. Well, now we're getting down to business. Did you do a big D? I did a big D. Oh my God! I did. Okay, so. Well, it's complicated. It's complicated, and we don't want to talk about complicated. Is that lifted? Uh, Please. Please, I. What do you need? I don't need anything. I'm happy. I'm so happy here and everything I ever wanted. Okay, oh, good. Good vibes. Don't, wait, wait, wait. But we're, we're here for you, right? We, we want to make sure that you're okay. What do you, what do you yeah, need? Yeah, whatever you need. Who, who did, how did you beat them? The person you took, did you know them? No. No, I didn't. They were just a casualty for the cause. Why? But, I mean... Anything blood would want to become a Tremere, right? You're not. You're a thin blood. I was. 
well, hey, that's okay. By yeah, the way. yeah. We're, no, we're cool with that here. I'm not. But. I'm not anymore. You know. Because of this. Yeah. So because. why would you want? You're already a vampire. You don't need any more. You, you, are the future. And we're here to celebrate. Hardy. Yeah. This All is right. It, right? Yeah. right? This is, this this is, is good is vibes? Good. This is good. Good vibes. Good, good vibes. vibes? Axe, Bestie, I thought I lost you for a second, man. You're good, right? We're good? I'm you, good. You're good. We're good. good. Yes. Yes. That was my yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, like, I was worried for a second. I thought Sometimes the ring can get intense. Like the no, 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 I get it, I get it. <laughs> Girl, you went through it. I went uh, through it a little oh, bit. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm good without sort of touching anything. I'm sort of drained at the moment. I trust oh, you. Okay. I can vouch. Yeah. She's real cool. So about this like app, I don't know what. I don't really give a. I don't care yeah, about we, the app right now. Let's drink some. Let's drink some blood. Yeah. Chilled blood. Drink some chilled drink. blood. Yeah. And um, are you sure you're good? Yeah. You got everything you need. Yeah. Do you need anything? I love it when it's chilled. Okay, great. I broke. You know, you haven't done that to me. We should totally do that sometime. I want you to like read me. I don't know. It'd be fun later. <laughs> okay. So app. Yes. Um, what if? Yeah. We, why not? We yeah. got money, right? Yeah, yeah. What do yeah. you want? You want money? No, 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 no. See, we got She's the money. money. We got the money. We just need like a little bit of promotion in your club scene because your club scene is superior. I own my own club, but it's nothing yeah, like she this. Owns clubs. We don't know anything about you. I just realized. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is your name? I, I'm Delilah. Delilah. It's very nice. And then Kyoko. Meet. Yeah. Delilah. Oh Kyoko. Yes, you did say that. We did. I think. Okay. Yeah. But that was before the whole. So, you know, it was a lot going on there. But have you ever heard of The Deep in North Hollywood? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, I well, mean, love that club. was a rival. That's where it happened. Yeah. Oh. The thing you brought up. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys really need to, I mean, did like a lot of people see that? Do you guys need to like, are you trying to clean up your image? Oh no, we just figured, you know, there's no Tinder for vampires. We kind of literally came up with this on the ride here. There yes, is no yeah. Tinder for vampires. That's true. Yeah. And vampires love to hook up. We know this to be true. Do we want to spend the rest of our on lives alone? Well, before we enter into a business. Right. Mm. Yes, of course. Collaboration. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, we already know that you um, did something really big. And I want to find out a little bit more like about your mission statement. So mm. what do you do for your community? Also, your community. Is yeah. that still the Thin Bloods? Yes. They are under my wing, as it were. Um, we do have an understanding. Um, but... Do they know? Do they know? Do they know that if they were to take down the kindred of Los Angeles, they could take their place? Um, no. No. This is it. This is the coming. This is the thin bloods. They are the scourge. Come call. I don't think coming. Not the I don't, coming. No, no, no. I don't know about. <laughs> Wait, what do you What mean? are you talking about? If we organize you, we could create more. Oh, that. That was. I thought that was a rumor. Oh, is that like your thing? Is that. Is that your thing? It, it could be our thing. Okay, I just want to say, like, we have been through, we've been through it. Like, we've had a really rough go of it okay. the past, like, year or so. Okay. Yeah. And right now I'm just Thanks. into vibing. I'm not really into organizing. Yeah. Like, we are giving yeah, back no, to the community. We're giving yeah. back to, like, kind of just want good yeah. vibes. Yeah. Um, just, you just want the vibes, right? Yeah. We're just here for the vibes. We're just vibing. We're just vibing. Get that little girl with the, like, the shaved head. She's really good at right. vibing and organizing right. and stuff. I'm sorry. I'm so concerned with the elephant. I should, I should leave that alone. Yeah. This is all... I get to, let's do that. Well, the David. elephant to me is that you guys are just so cool. <laughs> so cool. Thank yeah. you. I've yeah. watched like all of your TikToks. We can talk about the, we listen, this is, a, this is your space. Okay, X, this is your space and you're powerful and you're good. Yeah. And so like, if you need to say something, you say it, baby. You know what I need to say? Say it. I need to dance. Oh, <laughs> yes! yes! Let's dance. All right, yeah, whatever you guys like, what? Yeah. So, to the dance floor? Yeah. yeah. To the dance floor. Back out into the club where the party and the shots are in full swing. Club is packed for the drag show. 
which is among the more popular attractions in Santa Monica these nights. It's exactly as you predicted it would be. And it's everything your sister would eat. Mm, I love it. It's delicious to me. Oh my God, that's my favorite drag king, Oliver Sutton. Yes. Oh. Immaculate <laughs> performance. <laughs> And did you know that we booked Lil Him also? You did not get Lil Him. I know. Him. I'm really in a drag king thing. Right oh. now. <laughs> Everyone's dancing, having a good time. As you look out across the dance floor, perhaps recalling that so many of your strangest experiences have happened in nightclubs and dance floors over the last several years. There is a trio of people who catch your eye. They are conspicuous, not for their attire, not for their appearance, but for the, the fact that they are so very bad at dancing. I mean, it is embarrassingly poor movement. They seem to be making an effort, but the expressions on their face suggest to you that they are really not into this. Kind of thinking up the vibe there, huh, Bestie? Mm, smelly. Can we cast hot slut vibes at them? Mm. <laughs> yes. Let's see. We've Let's been practicing. try yeah. this. <laughs> Grab a handful of dice. Yes. Uh, I would like to use compel. You're uh, going to dance on over to them? Yes. Mm hmm. So. Compel is a dominate power. It's free. Mm -hmm. uh, it only affects one individual at a time. Right. Although there's no reason you couldn't shotgun it. I'll do it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's uh, charisma and dominate. So let's see, for Jeanette, that is nine dice. <laughs> one of which should be your red hunger time. They're just trying their best. You know, but sometimes stinky vibes can ruin a place. I'm not a great dancer, am I stinky? No, you're not stinky, honey. You are flawless. Okay, I like, Nine I can pretend. Red. You can pretend, and you're also so pretty. Nine including one That red. even if you can't dance, Sorry. nobody will notice. Can you roll for me, Bessie? Oh, oh but yeah. But you can dance. You. Only a little bit, only a little bit. It's just the kind of, you know? Yeah, you how do you do? Just, there you go, there you go. <laughs> uh, Jeanette got five successes, uh, and I got two. Two successes. Hmm. What do you want to tell them to do? Start vibing. Twerk. Take your shirt off. Drop it low. Be a slut. Vibe, I say vibe. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe not that. <laughs> Is that too much? Maybe. <laughs> Vibe is non-specific, but specific enough. <laughs> so, both of the individuals that you targeted uh, try harder to get into the mood. And by try harder, what we really mean is relax. They're trying. They're really trying. The trying might be more embarrassing than the not trying. I just want to say this is not a reflection of us, Bestie. This or is a reflection skills. on them. No, yes. absolutely not. This no. is on them. We were fine. We were flawless. What should we do? The third member of the trio, the one that you didn't whammy, uh, stops dancing and moves to the side of the club and is looking with a little concern at uh, two people that you hit. Not sure what their relationship to one another is, friends, enemies, frenemies, who knows. Um, and this person is also looking at the two of you with a worried expression. I'm gonna turn as as dancing, look over at Delilah and Kyoko and sort of catch their attention and point at him. Wait, should I go talk to him? I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna kind of look back and be like, oh, okay. Oh. Do you wanna just go chat with him? See what's yeah, up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just I dance feel, over him. I feel kind of bad. Yeah, yeah, just, just yeah. make him feel good about himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got this, you got this. If they do a good job, we should like be friends with them. Let's test people with a I'm really on over there. You're gonna dance on over there? Yeah. So, uh, and against not the, the greatest, wall, near the, rest, near the restroom door, uh, is a, uh, a young man with uh, 
very short cropped hair, severe cut, very conservative haircut, not very California at all. And in fact, this, this young man has no tan whatsoever. He doesn't go out in the sun maybe, who knows. Uh, he's wearing um, a mesh t-shirt, very tight dark jeans and uh, boots that look brand new. Um, he's looking at you and smiling. He's clearly uncomfortable. Ha ha! Hey, hi. you bestie! Love the fit. Mm. He's uh, he keeps glancing over your shoulder at X and Jeanette. Ah, uh, thanks. Uh, love yours too. Thanks. I kind of feel a little underdressed. Are you with those guys? Why'd you leave them? Uh, well, they're having a good time. They're you know they're dancing. Uh, I didn't want to cut in. Didn't want to. Um, didn't want to harsh their buzz. Well, they're, they're, they got good vibes right now, but I noticed that you're just kind of right. over here. And I just yeah. wanted to say that even if you're not a great dancer, I mean, not that you're not a bad, I mean, not that you're not a good dancer, but like, even if you're uncomfortable, like, I mean, I'm, I'm not the best dancer, but I'm sorry. Do you come here often? <laughs> Let's make a wits and awareness roll. <laughs> so for Kyoko, what is that? That's um, six dice, one of which should be your hunger die. Okay. So five black, one red. Okay. Oh my God, is that a critical failure? Mm. Oh, no. They're all blank. They're all blank, and the one red hunger die oh. is. Oh, I didn't what? do that one. One red. Oh. What's that one? It's up. Is it an onk? It's an onk. Okay. So, one success. Okay, one success. <laughs> He's doing something strange with his hand and wrist. You're not sure what it is, but he keeps tapping it, and he's not tapping his wrist rhythmically at all, not in time to the music, but tapping it irregularly. That looks kind of sus. What are you doing? Is that a dance move? Uh, nothing. So, I've got to go. I, um... Wait, uh, what's your name? Stan. Stan. Excuse me, uh, I, I need to go. Like my friend? car is, uh, my car is, um, I gotta go. Stan. He turns, and, uh, if he's not impeded in any way, he's going to walk away from you. Okay, I'm gonna lift up my phone and record a little bit. His name is Stan, but he's leaving now. <laughs> he stops in his tracks, turns and looks over his shoulder with a look of mixed uh, fear and uncertainty. What are you doing? Oh, I'm recording you. I'm just, I'm trying to be an influencer and I'm just recording stuff at the club. That'd be cute, you know, people, it would be fun. Influencers, don't you have anything better to do with your time? Well, no, actually. <laughs> well, how nice for well. you. I do, so good night. Well, but, but Stan, your friends are here. He is probably pretending not to hear you, but he doesn't turn his head to acknowledge your comment. And he makes his way as quickly as the crowded dance floor will let him toward the front exit of the club. Okay. I walk back to Delilah. Before he leaves, since I've been watching the whole time, mm -hmm, I look over observing. and I'm like, like, should I let him, should we, does he stay? Just let him go? Or keep, no? I made him leave. And then I'm gonna, <laughs> after that exchange, I'm gonna kind of. I'm not sure exactly what that signal meant. So I'm, I'm Neither am I, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna power walk like my boss bitch way through the mm -hmm. crowd and kind of uh, not stand in front of him, but kind of stand impeding his way and be like, um, new bestie, I know you didn't just leave my best friend on read. You seem kind of cute. Why don't you come hang out with us? You know, uh, excuse me, I gotta go someplace. I don't think you do. Wait, 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 can you, can you do that one thing again? The, 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 like, the thing, can you do that uh, thing that you were doing? He puts his right hand into his pants pocket so that you wait, can't wait, wait, actually wait. see his hand or wrist. I just Look, want to show TikTok. I'm it's sure you're perfectly cool. nice people, but I gotta be someplace else. Okay, so how, how do I use my my awe? How do I do that? Ah, oh, oh. So <laughs> presence like power. Activate. Oh. I would like to activate my awe, please. Yes. Yeah. It's free, no rouse check required. Ooh, fine. Um, 
Basically, presence, this particular presence power increases your ability to be persuasive. So all the roles you want to make for persuasion, social manipulation, seduction, anything involving uh, positive social outcomes gets improved. It also makes you very, very appealing. I would like to seductively, manipulatively persuade this man what to do you stay. Want to do? You want like to all three. imply that you would be very pleased if he would stay here with you. Stan, now, I don't ask for many things in life, but the one thing that I want you to do is to not leave, and also to tell me what wrist thing you were doing. I know that's not specific, but I hope you know what I'm talking about. And then also to add to the awe, I pull like a hundred dollar bill out of my bra a little bit. <laughs> so it peaks. Enhance, yeah. yeah, just to enhance the awe. I don't know if that works, but it's like, and I have money. I think it's, it's possibly worth a bonus side, depending on the situation. So um, his expression tells you, yes, he does know what you're talking about with whatever the wrist tapping was all about, although it doesn't seem to be, to be prepared to tell you. Mm. So your role is, um, Manipulation and presence. I believe for you that's four dice, so three black and one red. Now, if you think it's worth it, you can take a risk. You can call in the power of your newfound vitae, Ooh. and by risking increasing your hunger, add a bonus to your roll. But if you fail, you'll still get the bonus. Right. But if you fail, you'll get hungrier. I'm going to risk it. You're going to risk it. So take a red hunger die and roll it. Just add it to the pile? No, roll it oh, separately. Just roll it separately. That's, a, that's the rouse check. You're rousing the blood. What I a, got an onk. You got an onk. So you passed, you don't get hungrier, you stay at one hunger, and you get to add one more black die to your dice pool. Dope. That's three successes. Three successes. That's actually quite good. Heck yeah. Considering. Woo! <laughs> Sucks for Stan, okay. <laughs> Suck it, Stan. <laughs> I mean, Stan. <laughs> there is a moment of hesitation, and you can see him try to resist you. Now, you haven't been using these powers very long, so you're not sure if this is normal or not, but he flinches away for a moment, and for just a split second, you think it's not gonna work. Apparently, he's very strong-willed, but it does work. It was the hundred dollar bill. <laughs> mm, possibly. Yeah. He comes to stand next to you, takes his hand out of his pocket, although he doesn't show you anything, and says, I think you're very nice. Thank you, Stan. Now, I know that this wrist thing seems pretty secretive, so why don't you come back with me and my new friends and we'll just have a conversation. X and Jeanette, where are you at this time? We're still dancing with these lamos, and well, I don't too. know why. <laughs> <laughs> now, the lamos, one of them, has noticed that their friend uh, is talking to Delilah and peels away, stops dancing immediately, and begins to walk as quickly as he can through the people over towards her. That's who I'm following. You're going to follow this individual. Okay. Meanwhile, you're leading Stan. Yes. X, so at some point you're going to intercept paths. Okay, but like do it cute though. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is my new friend Stan. Stan. Stan almost wanted to leave, but I convinced him to stay. Isn't that right, Stan? Uh yeah, that's right. I'm uh She had money with in you. her booba. I had money <laughs> in my boob. It's, <laughs> a good move. it's a good move. And he's doing some things with his wrist that seems a little sus. Like like went through the vent sus, like oh. he's the imposter. He's the imposter <laughs> sus. And I figured the co-barons might need to know about this. Yeah, see the thing with secret hand stuff is the only thing that's allowed is our handshake. And it goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only thing that's allowed. So any secret hand stuff, you gotta run by us first. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Yeah, All right, well, the then you can get out of our club. Um, who are you? Uh, Stan. Stan. Yeah. That's right. And who are your friends? Who's your friend? What friends? 
the one that's like right here. Didn't we bring a friend with us? Where'd he go? Ah, the individual who was making their way towards you. Mm -hmm. Standing a few people away, and as you look over to him, you catch him shaking his head quickly. As I pop up in front of him, hello! <laughs> Weird vibes, right? Something's happening. All right, um, can we like figure it out on the DL? Oh, hey, Stan. Um, what do you have like on you right now? Anything cool? Like your shoe or something? I don't want to lean in and be like, and Stan, you're my new friend, so don't lie. Yeah, give us something cool. That's really important to you. Uh, for the love of all that's holy, you're with them. Huh? You're with them, aren't you? Who are you? Are you talking, Stan, are you back talking me? I'm just disappointed. Oh, don't I'm just really disappointed I liked you. Stan, you oh, can still know. like me. <laughs> um, Wait, what about this guy? Let's, 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 let's make this easy for everybody and just let us walk out of here. Um, no, give us your shoe. I want X to do the thingy. I'm not having fun anymore. Yeah, give us your shit. I won't. <laughs> the third individual, the one who didn't <laughs> so stupid make thing. his way over here. When you glance back, you don't see him. You're not sure that he's still in the club. I look to Kyoko and I'm like, I, I don't know, he was here a second ago. But I'm like grabbing this other guy's arm or trying to. You grabbing Stan's arm? Uh, or no, the friend no, that was the friend on his way over. Okay, he doesn't want to be grabbed. Uh, let's make what? um. Want to be grabbed. Let's make it strength and brawl. What is it? Strength and brawl. Uh, for you, that is, I believe, three dice, one of which is a hunger die. Strength Oof. and brawl. Oh, like this. Okay. The odds are not good. Oh, two successes out of three. Okay. He flinches his arm away and says, Don't hey! touch me. Don't touch me. I'm sorry. I the dance floor. Still dancing, but the people in your immediate vicinity have stopped to watch this tableau. They're fascinated. They're not sure if this is uh, maybe some new immersive experience, perhaps, or uh, maybe it's a prelude to the next drag show that's due on stage next, or maybe you're about to kick somebody's ass. They're not sure, but they're into it. They're definitely gonna think it's performance art, don't worry. Listen, Stan, it sounds like you're here on some kind of business, and I don't know if you know who we are, but this is our club, and this is also our city. So unless you're trying to get your throat ripped out, why don't you tell us why the fuck you're here? I know who you are. Yeah. I bet you do. Yeah, but we're not here for you. Well, I mean, it kind of hurts my feelings, honestly. But we would like to talk to Mr. X. Mr. Oh, me. Well, yeah, yes. Ooh. I will take you in the back. Stan looks at his friend, the one who doesn't want to be touched. His friend nods. Stan, I just want you to know that I don't like your military haircut and you look like you're from Virginia. <gasps> and then I turn around. And you smell like a TJ Maxx. And you smell like a TJ Maxx. But, but your fit's all right. Even know what that is. Okay, um, maybe we could talk? Yes. Wait, where's the third one? Some people will join us in a few minutes if you'd like to talk privately. Hey, are you free? Now, like, do you, are you doing anything? Are, are you asking for backup? I could use backup. Yeah. Yeah, we, we got you, right? right. Good, good vibes? Good good vibes. Yeah, good vibes. I'm gonna just cast something over the whole club attendees. I am going to have like a little feeling that some <clears throat> shit is about to go down. Hmm. So I'm gonna just cast kind of um, something that makes them believe whatever they see is some super dope performance art. So you want to encourage what they already want to believe, yes. which is this is all a fantastic curated experience for their benefit and entertainment, and whatever they happen to see isn't real. It's not real. It's fake but blood, obviously. But they can pretend it's real if it makes them happy to. I can do something lit, if you know what I mean. I love lit things. Maybe not in the building. Oh, okay. 
before Stan walks through the door with X, mm -hmm. I want to take off one of my non-important rings, a really mm -hmm. tiny one, and I would like to craft a bloodstone. It takes a few minutes, it does. but you can do it while you're walking. Yeah, while we're walking. Walking and talking. Um, and I want to craft... I'll let you uh, know when it's ready. Okay. It takes a few minutes okay. to create that particular object through a ritual. Well, then I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of that while we're walking and talking. Into the back room, then, with Stan, an unnamed friend. The two of them don't seem to be any more relaxed when you get them alone in the back room. Now, we'll recall that in this back room there is a, or was, a mortal providing blood. Is that mortal still here? Are they gone? Did they leave? You tell me, you're you can't in the do room. It too much. You're in the room. I'm out. I'm out. We see that previous mortal passed out in the corner, like in a pleasant sleep. Uh, and there is a new person that has taken their place. Okay. He is busy contributing his share to the common pool. He has the good sense and good taste to studiously pay no attention to what you are doing. All right. You're here, and you wanted to talk to me. Um, uh, I, I don't, actually. Someone does. He'll be here in a minute. We've sent for him. Who? 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 Mr. X. Uh, Miss Jeanette. Oh, am I in their route too? I'm sorry. Did I misunderstand that you were not going in? I was. I. I thought they didn't want to talk to me, but I'll go in for my bestie. Should I go in? They're, they're certainly not going to object. Please. Okay. I'll, yeah. Thank you. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Are we outside as backup, or are we inside as backup? Inside. Okay, we're inside. We're I'm inside. here for you, but I'm a fly on the wall. Yeah, we're not mm -hmm. me. This is just I'm here to support my. Bestie. I'm just by the luge, um, kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. X. Miss Vorman. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. It's my associates, Delilah and Kyoko of. Kyoko. Hi. Huh. Oh, now you want to talk to me? Huh. <laughs> wow, I can't believe Damn. I missed that. I didn't even get that guy's name. I can't believe I missed that. All right. And your associate? He can introduce himself. How you doing? Hello. Mm. What's your name? Roger. All right, Roger. Are you actually Stan and Roger? I feel like those are fake. Names. Not real names. Yeah. At all. Right. I don't know. Is Delilah your real name? Stan. What? Roger. I... We don't need to talk about real names here. This is a safe space where some may not have names. Aww. Now. I respect that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You must present something for yourself. How to for me to trust you? Well. I would prefer not to, but just give us a moment. A few moments later, and your bloodstone is ready. Dope. So that ring is now enchanted, mystically imbued with the power of your vitae, which you have surreptitiously used to create a mystical tracking device. I'm going to wait until the opportune moment. Mm -hmm. Um, Perhaps even a dramatically appropriate moment. A, probably a dramatically appropriate One moment. One never knows. Yeah. A few moments later, there is a discreet tap on your door. Enter. One of your club bouncers opens it. The individual, the third bad dancer, enters first, checks out the uh, scene, and stands next to the door inside the room. It's followed by a man of medium height. You would say early middle age. He has short curly red hair, very pale blue eyes, and a, a gentle smile. He's wearing a dark turtleneck, and slacks, and uh, polished shoes. Not very expensive shoes, but mm, yeah, not the worst footwear either. He's wearing a little gold, very plain cross on a chain around his neck. The bouncer leans in. Uh, boss and boss, you, I'll be right outside the door. Yeah. You guys okay? Mm, yeah. 
When you hear the signal, things have gone wrong. Sure. So. Constant vigilance. You got it, boss. And boss. Bouncer shuts the door. Enter. Thank you. Hello. Who dares ask for me, us, for us, the ass barons of Santa Monica? Well, my name and associates. And associates. Uh, my name is Elijah. Uh, I'm very pleased to meet you, X. I'm pleased to meet you too, Jeanette, although a little alarmed. Oh, you should be. Yeah. I haven't had the pleasure. I'm sorry. I'm Elijah. Oh, hi. Um, I'm Delilah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm Kyoko. Your friend's heard of me. Yeah, I've heard of you too. You oh. didn't. You didn't make. You didn't make that for. Okay. I've heard of you too. Although I didn't expect you to be here. I, either of you, really. But. We're I'm unpredictable. Pleased that you are here, nonetheless. Was it from TikTok? Is that? It's probably TikTok. <laughs> it's probably it from TikTok. Well, uh, we certainly have taken note of your online activities. All of your online activities. Hmm. Um, you did not just slut shame me in my own club. Her in my titties own are immaculate. District. Excuse me. Sex work is work. Thank you. Immaculate. Immaculate titties. Immaculate. Thank you. Immaculate. Thank you so much. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. Well, uh, this isn't a conversation I expected to have in quite this way tonight, but people would like your titties too. You should consider Perhaps. it. Perhaps. Not really my line of work. And what is your line of work? I'm glad you asked. Thank Good. you. Oh, I mean, state your line of work at me. Oh, cool. Thank you. X, I know this is hard. I know it's painful. I know this has been a long, difficult, torturous road for you. But I no, am I'm here happy. to help. No, I'm happy. I'm I'm smiling, Are and you? it's the best road. It's like a one of those roads in an airport where you don't even have to walk. It's going the way you want it. Are you truly happy, X? Yeah. Yeah. I see. I understand. What are you, the, the happiness meter? Cause In a way, I am. Look, it's easier to show you. Let me show you. He offers you his hands, palms up. No, let, let me show you, and I will also offer my hands, palm up. He will clasp your hands. The room disappears. There is light. Gentle, calm, beautiful light. Like the morning. And peace. No voices, no visions, just calm. <sighs> I know, X, how hard it's been for you and how much you've suffered, how much you've given to others only to be betrayed at every turn. I can help you. You can? Yes, I can. How? I want you to come with me, X. And I will help you. And you can feel this way always, all the time. How do I know I can trust you? I think you have to do what your heart says is right. <clears throat> this feels right, right now. He releases his hands, allowing you to return to the present. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yes. Like, really? Are you okay? What's that? What's yeah. happening? Yeah. What's y happening? Your past is fraught with danger, but your future yeah. leads to more. That's <laughs> what I saw in a vision. Well, you are. You are quite right, of course. My past is fraught. In, in many, many ways, and, and it has been dangerous, and I'm sure it will continue to be so. It is not, it's not easy to deal with, well, 
with individuals like yourselves. Sorry, you skipped over the whole, like, who you are and what you do thing and went right to the... Uh... I represent um, an organization, um, a coalition of organizations, really. You might even say an entity. And we are dedicated to helping your kind. Okay, so you're doing the whole really vague thing, like Stan... Stan, Stan was his Virginia haircut over there. Stan. Um, Stan will do. Stan, you're you're purposefully not saying what I want to hear. I do this all the time. I understand. I get it. I I understand. What do you I'm picking call up yourself? You're putting down. Why are so, you here? They're here with us. No, I mean Delilah. Why is Delilah here? Well, I didn't well, think you. Who do you work for? And then I'll tell you why I'm here. I feel like information for information, right? Good vibes. Good works. vibes. I think you're right. That's I think if we're going to establish trust, then we should make a gesture of good faith. I don't think the name will mean anything to you, but if it matters, I represent the Cynical of St. Margaret and the Society of Leopold. Did that help? Are you Camarilla? No. Um, so you say you deal with us. I'm guessing... Oh, you misunderstand. I'm not... Yeah. I'm not a kindred. I'm not a vampire. A canine, a blank body. Again, yes, but clearly. You... But you spooky spookied. How did... So How do you know? He fingers the gold cross at his neck. I wouldn't call it spooky spooky, but I have certain gifts... Such as again with the giving Danger. of the information, you know, you you you're vague posting, and in my in my path, vague posting, subtweeting, sub you're subtweeting us. I sort of know what that means. Um, the problem is that you know the vocabulary for it wouldn't mean anything. Like with X, it would be easier to show you. But why are you trying to take him away if he's happy? to help him? He understands. He's trying He's to take you away? To help us. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. This offer is for you, Mr. X. We are we are not here tonight for Ms. Warman. Or we didn't realize you would have guests. Hold on, let me see what this well let me let me see what Mr. Crossman is talking about. And I'll hold out my hand. You grasp his hand? Mm-hmm. It's warm. There is a pulse. Human, for sure. All right. The Ice sluice room, the mortal contributing their blood, X, Jeanette, it all falls away. It's all gone. You're back on the beach and it's morning. The sun is at your back as you face the Pacific Ocean. You can smell that sweet sea air and feel that beautiful breeze. You can hear the distant plaintive cries of the gulls. Mm. And it's calm. And it's peaceful and there is no fear of the Camarilla. There is no guilt for things that you've done. There's no remorse. There's only gentle calm. It's as though the light has washed away all the terrible things that being a vampire or a thin blood represents and left you only tranquility. And when he withdraws his hand away, you were back in the present with all its problems and all its conundrums and dangers and the rest. I'm really not sure how to explain it exactly. At least you're trying words. to kill us. The only way that all of this can be all happy and sunshine no, and no, rainbows no, and puppy no. dogs is murder. I got it. He's trying to kill us. Cool, cool. cool I would cool. never. I think, I think it could be real, Delilah. X, you're not actually thinking about going with this clown. No, 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 no. Honey, Wait. we're happy. We own a club. We own Santa Monica. What are you doing? I think X can make his own decisions. Are you trying to get your throat ripped, sir? I think X can speak for himself. You can. You're co-baron. I do, like, too. You're also my bestie, bestie. Thank you for all of your help, but I... What if I promise I am not going to kill X? Oh, uh, I mean... I should have asked you that before. Wait, well, hold I on. Promise your intent I'm... with our boy. Yeah, what is your intent? Because, like, this seems like... Utter bullshit. Well, as I say, we hadn't exactly prepared for this particular...
particular meeting. So, um, you know, I didn't bring a PowerPoint or anything. Um, Elevator pitch me. And I don't have time to come back. So, um, I'd like to take you to uh, meet with our Senecal and uh, help you overcome the terrible, th the thing, the, the, the beast inside you. You can and make her go away forever? Yes. Yes, we can. Um, hi, I know there's no PowerPoint and this is in the classroom, but hi, I have a question, sir. I have a question. Here's a question. I have a question. Miss Delilah, Miss Kyoko, please, we're all having a conversation. Um, are you saying you're going to cure him? Hmm. To be fair, I'm not sure if what you are can be cured in the metaphysical sense, but at least we can take the the terrible hunger and the, the, the impulses to do terrible things away, yes. And he would continue to live in, in peace. There's probably a word for it in your cosmology, but I don't really know what it is. Have we met before? I would remember. I don't think so. God, I was having such a good time. Ex, like, know. what the hell do you, what, okay, obviously you're in control of your own decisions. That is not to mean that there are not consequences for your decisions though, all right? And I just want to, as the elder, I just want to say like, your decisions are your own, but that doesn't mean there won't be consequences and that's on you. And also don't leave me, you're my best friend and we own Santa Monica together. I don't want you to leave. Also speaking of consequences, what's the catch? The catch. Nobody comes in and is like, hey, I have red hair and I have a cross and I'm human and do you want to look at sunshine and what not be a vampire? See? Yeah, and why X? Yeah, so he touched my hands and I saw that's the beach again. That's an excellent question. Like Maybe even the best question that's been asked here, why X? Because we feel that X can benefit from this gift. Not all of you could. I, I don't know you well enough, I'm sorry, to know if, if we can help you or not. I'm sure we can't help you. I'm sorry, Miss Miss Vorman. I, I just I don't want to go to church camp. It's fine. If you want to go to church camp, go to church camp. I mean, there might be people in my organization who can, but I can't. You're you're I um help. I'm literally good. I own a club in um, Santa Monica. I'm a girl boss like you're I'm not uh, trying to be You're above my pay grade. That's fine. It's very condescending by the way. You're in my club trying to help me. No, thank you. No, I'm trying um, to help X. Actually, so, are you okay? if you don't want our help, let's just get we'll go. A um, luge, luge, and I'm gonna take his hands real gently. I know we just met, but you were the king of eleven, and I want you to know that whatever this creepy ginger is offering, make sure you know the terms and conditions. Because once I clicked OK on Apple's terms and conditions, and they repossessed my laptop three years later. Mm. I want so. you to know that I appreciate that. I mean, valid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're dangerous. And I know. this is dangerous for you. And I meant it when I said you're the future. And also, I'm sorry about your laptop. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. No one's ever said sorry about my laptop before. But I just, before you go off with Jesus preachy ginger man, I want to make sure that you're not going to get hurt and They're you'll still be They're playing next Tuesday. But Oh, okay, you're right. Yeah. I just thought it was convenient, you know? I just want, I don't want you to get hurt because who else will wear that top hat? No one. No one. No, no one. No one, right? No one. Absolutely And you no have one. to come back to your bestie. Okay, you just, you just say the word if you want to see a throat get ripped, all right? I'm honestly dying to do it. You said it a lot of times honestly, tonight. I feel I'm like, like you're really, really dying. Really the throat or yeah. my buzz. Yeah. So we're gonna go to lunch, Luigi. We're gonna, gonna go to lunch. Moment. Think to yourself, I don't, I want this. Decision to come from you. Okay, Buzz, do Roger. Have anything complicated. <clears throat> Sorry. Roger mutters under his breath, I knew this was a bad idea. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, Elijah turns to glare at him and Roger shuts up. Kyoko, um, wits and awareness one more time, please. Four dice. Okay. One of which is your hunger die. D one, one success. One success. Um, Stan has not stopped with the wrist tapping. He's been doing it the whole time. Are you okay? Is this like a, are you okay? Yes. He's still tapping his wrist. 
Yes, I am. Elijah, another question. <gasps> yes. What's that? What? What's he doing? He's communicating with the rest of my team. Like Morse code? Uh, a little bit more sophisticated than that, but something like that, yeah. X, no. Bestie, I think just to put an idea out there, maybe do your party trick where you like take one of their precious objects and read them just to see what their true intent is, just so you have all the facts, honey, okay? Ice right. looch, ice looch, ice looch, ice looch. Good vibes. I want the cross. I just want to touch it. What will you do with it? Just see where it's been. Well, it's been around my neck since I was very young. It hasn't gone anywhere. Are you sure? With your permission. I don't know what will happen. I'll, right. I'll do a rouse check first. He opens his arms wide to indicate that he will not stop you. Are you, what are you using? Are you using Spirit's Touch? Spirit's Touch. Hmm. Okay. And I pass the rouse check. No additional hunger, so uh, intelligence and aspects. And a quick consultation. Three, oh, four successes. Four total. One, two, three, four, five successes. Five successes. Yeah. Your uh, spirits touch attempts tonight have been legendarily good. We've been practicing. You've used this power many, many times. You are accustomed to its effects. You know that most of what you learn are associated with strong emotions and, and past owners, if there are any. You don't sense this is, that this object has been owned by anyone else. It has always been Elijah's. Ever since he was a very young boy, it was given to him by a man with a kindly face and a priest's collar. Flashes of images, like a rapid slideshow, move through your head. Elijah taking holy vows. Elijah at the seminary. Elijah armed with a crossbow, shooting a vampire with its fangs bared. The vampire wounded. And Elijah placing his hands on the vampire. The vampire smiling. in peace and gentle repose, and yet still very much aware. And the most recent emotional memory is Elijah, the other members of his team, very recently, tonight, praying in a church, an old church. Um, the architecture reminds you of one of the old Spanish missions that dot the coastlines of Cal coastline of California. They are saying your name. Please give us the strength to save him. Let us save X. Are you all right? I believe you. That is a relief. I've been telling you the truth. If you do not want our help, we'll leave. Listen, Elijah. I'm listening. We are not a disease to be cured. Do you understand? Our way of life and what we are belong here. That's not for me to judge. But what happens to us, to us, is an exception. I don't understand. I don't understand. I need you your understand? help to get rid of this. To yeah. help me hear. I'm a monster. I know I'm a monster. Yes. But there's another one that lives inside of me that scares me. We can help you. You have seen it for yourself. 
She's gonna go away. I can make it happen. I can do this and I'll make her go away. <gasps> Permanently this time. X, you... If go. you wanna go be a Mormon, you can go be a Mormon. I swear to God, dude, I'm about to fucking kill this guy. I am... I was having so much fun and now this motherfucker wants to rip my best friend away in my own club? Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea the personal restraint that I am exercising by not turning you inside out right now? I'm not your best friend. You are my best friend. I'm not your best friend, okay? I don't like being here and I don't like doing this and I don't want to anymore. <gasps> then come with us. We can go right now. I'm sorry. I... This was a lot. I just wanted to... Get my revenge. And I can't make it stop. And you can't make it stop. And you're just gonna get hurt. Like my Is friends. That person in your head? Yeah, dude, it's fine. Go. Just go. No, if you wanna talk about it. Just, I don't Just fucking go if you're gonna go, alright? Just go if you're gonna go turn a new leaf. What do you think that that's actually gonna change who you are? You think you're actually gonna go with this joke? And like be a good person, X, we have our lives exactly sorted. And for the record, I really fucking care about you, dude. I don't know it's who bullshit. I if am. You, if you can't appreciate everything that I've done for you, I'm really fucking disappointed in you, X. I'm not just a carbon copy of whatever you want to do, okay? This is all your idea. I'm even, I'm this sorry. is you. The STD testing was your idea, actually, the and it was a great idea. one thing we're doing idea. for the community. No, we're also doing a lot for the community. Anyways, it's stupid. This is, I thought that you were enjoying, and also you could have said at any time if you wanted something else to be done. Like, I am not my sister. Sometimes you sound like her. Well, we're fucking related. What do you want me to do with that? Stop. Are you? You don't know. I don't know. Know what? Wow, um, okay, this is very unexpected. Um, none of my business, really. Shall we go? No, what? Don't do that. Yes, y yes. Do I, do I have to wear a cross? No. Okay. No, you can wear whatever you like. Yes, I can. Yeah, you can. Literally, that was never a problem. I don't know why you're acting like I control every facet of your life. Is there a, a back door if you'd rather not go through the... Wait, are you gonna go away forever? Uh, I can't answer that, I don't know. I'm gonna find out who I am. Do you think this is the best way? We're finding out who we are very recently. Yeah. We're new vampires. I mean, I just found out who I was eight months ago. I'm still learning. Listen, reality, it's like an elephant. Oh. Oh, I see. And sometimes you just need a bit of tranquilizer. You are, you are also, you're also kindred. Did, did he think that I was just super cool with the bleeding hot No, guy. no, our, our, the information we have about you suggested that you were a little different from them. How are you getting this information? Also, an elephant and a tranquilizer? There's a lot of things happening right now. Um, it's a metaphor, or it's a, a simile, it, one of the two. One, it's a simile metaphor, I got you. Yeah, but here's, you don't need to take that tranquilizer. You don't have to take the tranquilizer. You, you can, can just a take a little bit of te tequila own. and take a little nap sometimes. Also, who is telling you these things? How do you know? Our so? organization has quite a bit of information about you. Like I said, it's our job to help you. By help, do you mean unvampire? Hmm. Again, the metaphysics of it, I don't really know how to explain. I don't think X would, I think he would still be a kindred. A Does vampire. he get to uh, walk around after, or did you just put him to sleep forever? Well, that doesn't really seem to be the ideal solution, does it? Uh, what are you? Yeah, what are you? I'm, I'm a man. I'm, I'm a person. But how do you... Like a... He taps his human? cross. Uh, He's communicating. Who, who are you talking to? <laughs> who do you think? A maintenance man in the ceiling? No, I'm... I'm I'm, I'm here as a member of the Seneca of St. Margaret. We're a holy organization. 
Oh. Oh, you're going to Jesus camp. He's literally going to fucking. He's literally going to Jesus camp. Listen. Oh. Take me to where we need to go, and I'll show you a god that fell asleep on the watch. All right. Well, if there's a back door, we'll go now. These vibes changed a lot. These vibes changed a lot. The uh, three individuals, Stan, Roger, and whoever the other one is, uh, lead the way to the back door. Elijah, Jester's for you. Right this way. Before Stan leaves, I go over to him and I, I turn up the awe a little bit more. Pull another hundred out, just in case. And I wrap my arms around him and I'm like, look, even though you smell like a TJ Maxx, I really appreciate the 30 seconds that I'm pretty sure you wanted to fuck me. And then I slip one of like, when I'm like really like groping him a little bit, especially cause he's a man of Jesus. So I really want to make him feel a little even more uncomfortable. I'm really just going at it. I slip <laughs> one of my rings in his back pocket. And by one of, I mean specifically the blood ritual ring. He blushes to his roots, yeah. crimson red, embarrassed. Good. But he doesn't struggle away. Good. The awe helps, Good. but it's probably not just the awe. It's the 200 bills and the titties, <laughs> I know. Where do you put the ring? Like, I'm assuming he's wearing some janky jeans, right? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. and like the loose back pocket of man jeans, which mm -hmm. means he cannot it's feel. Yeah. <laughs> it's a They're, void. Yeah, it's a void. He doesn't know, like I could put a bowling ball in there I, uh, and he'd be like. I, I fear many of us know exactly what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> man pockets. So yes, so the ring drops in. Yeah. He um, <clears throat> steps away from you with an embarrassed I, smile. I pat his cheek and I'm like, and if, the big man upstairs ever says it's okay. Call me. Back up. Dad, who's the other guy? The other guy? Yeah, the other guy. The unnamed one? Yeah, I fucking kill him. You're gonna take him out. Yeah. You're gonna rip his throat out. Yeah. Jeanette. You're gonna yeah. reach out and just end his yeah, life. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking end There's him. There's a spray of arterial crimson that decorates the wall, an interesting new pattern. Jeanette, stop. He can't even, he doesn't even get a chance to call out, to move. He simply, Expires as he exsanguinates blood against for the blood. plaster. They're taking you away, so I'm gonna take one of theirs. Was that absolutely necessary? Yeah, it was absolutely. You're lucky that you are leaving this alive, and the only reason that you are is because I care about my friend and he wants to do this, all right? The only reason that you are not currently inside out is because of this one. So you better fucking thank him, because he's a good one. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me right now. Let's, let's go, X. Let's go, let's go. Stan, Roger, let's go. Yeah. There's no further impediment. X and his group leave. Closing the door behind them. This seems like an appropriate and excellent place to pause our vampire story for now. Bosh, look, I told you, you don't have to be here. If you want to turn back, do it now. She'll be here any second. Katya, what's so damn important that you drag me out here when the Inquisition is ripping through us? We don't even know if Vannevar is still with us. What the hell do you want? I know, Aurora. And I know that you know it was Eva. She killed your brother. She murdered Rodrigo. Hmm. I see. That is important. Isn't it? Bosh! <laughs> <laughs>